I believe working in VR is upcoming. Why? Because only in VR you can spawn multiple virtual screens in front of you at home and place them anywhere you would like. Imagine sitting on your couch and then just casually working with five monitors. So I tried this out before a few years ago already, but the problem then was that the resolution wasn't there yet, which made the text not sharp enough to read for an extended period. Now the resolution is here for a while already, but there was still the issue of not being able to type very well in VR. If you're a VR user, you know that typing in VR is slow, especially with motion controllers. But the app Immerse VR finally found a solution to this. You can now bring your real life keyboard inside the virtual environment as an overlay, allowing you to type as you're used to. This is a feature that I was missing when trying to work in VR in the past, so today I wanted to take a look at it together and see what it is like. Hey everyone, Cass here, and welcome to another VR Tech Tip video, where we not only dive into this cool new keyboard overlay feature, but also take a quick look at what makes working in VR so super epic, and I'll show you how to try it yourself and what to look out for in the future. If you like these videos, consider subscribing because that is a big support to us. And now, join me beyond reality. Let's start with a quick introduction to Immersed VR. This is a VR app designed to co-work with others, but you can also use it to work solo, which is what I'm going to do. With it, you can mirror your PC screen inside your headset. It then does some magic and it allows you to add up to four additional virtual screens totaling to five, even if you only have one physical monitor or one laptop. And in that virtual environment, you can place those screens where you want. You can also do the same thing with the apps, big screen VR and virtual desktop. However, as far as I know, they don't have a keyboard overlay yet. So I'll focus on Immersed today. So why is this handy? Well, before this new keyboard overlay feature, you could already use your real keyboard since it's connected to the PC that you're mirroring. But since you're wearing a VR headset, you cannot comfortably look at your keyboard without having to peek through your nose awkwardly. So not seeing your keyboard inside VR could potentially get you typos. Just imagine this situation with a colleague. I mean, that's awkward. I can already hear some people say though, but Cass, I type completely blind, so I don't need it. Well, good on you, but I'm a pretty good blind typist too, if I say so myself. And still, I find it handy. I mean, I know all alphabetical letters uh, by heart and I don't need to look at my keyboard for that. But I don't always remember where all the special characters are. like. Uh, the asterisk or where my F6 button is located. On those occasions, I do look at my keyboard. Of course, if you're that good and you know the entire keyboard by heart, then you probably don't need the overlay. But still, I suggest trying out working in VR. So this app is only available on the Quest Store, so unfortunately not for Steam VR headsets right now. I also recommend doing this with a high resolution headset like the Quest 2. I've tried this as well on lower resolution headsets and the text just isn't sharp enough. You can download Immersed for free on the Oculus Quest Store. There is a free plan that gives you minimal features like one additional virtual monitor instead of five. And then there are two paid subscriptions available with more features. Those features are mostly for people who work in teams. So honestly, if you're solo, I think free is good enough for most of us. If this is your first time trying it out, you do get a 14 day trial for the Elite plan. And this is the one that gives you five virtual monitors and some other features so you can try it out. The setup is a breeze. Just download and install the app on your Oculus Quest 2 first. After that, launch the app and it will give you a pairing code. It will also ask you to visit immersedvr.com slash setup to download the desktop software. You have to do this on your laptop or PC. 
The software works on Mac, Windows and Linux. You do need a specific version though, so do check your system and what's required on the website. Then download and install the app on your PC. I'm on Windows, so I have the Windows version. Once installed, launch it and it will ask you to enter the pairing code that's available inside the headset. Once you enter that and click connect, make sure you're on the same network, then you're ready to go already. So how about we put it all to the test? Let's see what it's like. So I have my laptop on my lap right here, but I won't be using my laptop screen. Instead, I'm just going to use my laptop keyboard. So uh, I'm just going to put on my headsets and uh, let's see what it's like. Okay, as you can see, we are in immersed VR. I am in some kind of uh, spacey environment in space apparently and uh, well I have four additional screen spawns uh, in front of me right now and uh, I can actually move them so there are some couple of buttons for that I can move them left right <laughs> wherever I want I can also move it away or like really close to me but actually I think I like this and then I can enlarge this as well I can make it super big and uh, with this button I can curve the screens so I'm just going to place everything like I want it. Maybe this one over here. Actually, I like this placement. Maybe a little bit further away though. Like this. Very, very nice. And then, uh, as if I'm correct, I can also move to a different spot like over there. Okay, now I am on the couch <laughs> in real life as well, but also in the game. Very immersive. I like that. And Okay, so the menu has popped up, but if you press the left menu button, you can... Uh, Get this menu and here you can see like uh, what the latency is of your connection uh, as you can see i'm using the elite trial right now which is ending in 12 days and some performance tips but also um, there are some social features but i'm offline apparently so i cannot do that so you can actually work with other people <laughs> uh, that you don't know in vr so it will feel like you're working in a cafe or something i, mean, I know that works for some people and then there are a couple of environments as well and 360 photos but here there are also other settings. Let me tell you about the keyboard overlay. Over here, you've got the keyboard settings, right? So if you press this, click this, the keyboard will appear over here. And if it's not calibrated right, you have to press this button. Oh, by the way, Oculus Quest hand tracking also works, so you don't really need your motion controllers if you don't want to use that. Although uh, sometimes I need to get used to the gestures and stuff, so I prefer using the motion controllers to set stuff up. But um, let's see if it works with this one. So yes, that brought up the keyboard overlay calibration. So what you have to do here is use the tip of your right index finger and then press the key that is on the screen right now. So I'm going to press P. Yeah, you do have to kind of peek through your nose if you don't know where everything is. Pre peek through your nose gap, I mean. Uh, but uh, yeah, if it's calibrated, it only needs like three letters. Here we go. Oh, it's... Uh, looks and feels correct all the letters feel correct right now and you can even see what you're typing so that's really nice okay let me oops accidentally type something <laughs> yeah i also have my wireless mouse connected over here by the way so okay so right now uh, something is not correct yet like my mouse is not entirely in the right position so what i'm going to do is open the menu and i should be able to send my monitor layout somewhere let me see arrangement settings okay so i got my arrangement settings like this right uh, i'm going to send the layout to my computer so that my mouse uh, will detect the arrangement as well oh and i just added a whiteboard as well <laughs> another screen over here hi guys hello hello very cool look at this look at this okay now my mouse should be working correctly yes okay let me close this up open a notepad yes here we go let me enlarge the text <laughs> and type a little hmm hello guys and girls <laughs> my fellow vr enthusiasts how are you doing and do you like this video if you do how about uh, giving this video a thumbs <laughs> as you can see it works really well actually i typed my entire scripts of this video inside vr so <laughs> that's uh it works really well i was testing it out just to see if it works so it seems to be all working correctly now i'm just serving to uh, youtube i'm going to place this window at the left uh, 
let's say, for example, I want to uh, start working on a new script. Uh, I need my Word document in front of me. Uh, and I might want to watch like a video at the left side. It's what uh, you turn... need to play p The sound off though. And over here, uh, I don't know, maybe some uh, notes. Let me open a note. And uh, I don't know, maybe I need uh, Photoshop <laughs> as well. Let me just start that too. And uh, I'll put Photoshop at the bottom here. Photoshop over here. Here we go. Everything works very fine. And on, actually, if I peek, peek through my nose cap on my laptop, I only see my main display, the screen in front of me, but I don't see the, the right, left and bottom display. I guess that's hidden. Uh, but whoa, I'm just, I just can't say it enough. This feels fantastic. It makes me way more productive uh, because it actually feels like I have so many more screens. So right now I don't have five screens, I don't know why, for some reason I can't do it on the laptop, but I could do it on my PC in the studio where I'll be recording the outro. Um, I guess the laptop may not be able to handle so many screens, but I mean, I think one sc extra screen is already very nice for productivity, so four screens is already very, very nice. But of course there is some room for improvement, like as you can see over here, this keyboard overlay is the same like same base template for all the keyboards that you would calibrate. So uh, right now, like all the letters are synced up correctly, but I am missing the numpad. I think it would be nice if Immersed added some kind of uh, uh, commonly used keyboard templates in there so I can have my actual keyboards inside this virtual environment too. But this is just very cool. It works well enough. Uh, with the resolution of the Quest 2, text is sharp enough, I can read everything. Alright, so I think I've shown you uh, most of what you can do in here already, so uh, let's uh, move to the outro. So there is a reason that I didn't show that setup right here in my office and that is because my PC already has three screens. Of course you can still add two more additional screens and that works as well, but I wanted to show you a more interesting use case. And I think also a more commonly used use case with the laptop and then on the couch, especially in these more uh, difficult times. So I hope you thought that was interesting as well. And if you do think that this is cool too, then there are some things that you can look out for that are coming out. So one thing that Immersed themselves are going to release is a remote desktop feature. I'm looking forward to that myself because this allows you to stream your desktop onto your headset from a different location than your PC. So I could just stream whatever is on this PC while I lay in bed or even sit on the toilet or and uh, still work with multiple screens. The possibilities are endless, although I'm not sure how they will add a keyboard with a remote desktop connection, but I'm hoping that it will work with something like Bluetooth. Facebook is also coming with Infinite Office. If you haven't heard of it yet, this is something uh, similar that Facebook is working on for Quest 2. We don't know much yet, but uh, judging from the trailer, we can see it is a software update integrated with the current Quest interface. It will use the pass through feature where you can see your real life environment and you can spawn multiple screens in front of you and work in them as well. But the notable feature here is that they are bringing a specific Logitech keyboard uh, inside the software and it even works with a mouse pad so uh, you can uh, point and click more precisely. This is planned to come out this winter and I will for sure cover it then. I'm super interested in those kind of things. Now I'm also hoping that virtual desktop and the big screen, they, those developers will also do something with keyboard overlays. So what do you think of this new feature? Are you going to try it out? And uh, don't forget that there is a free plan to try out forever. So uh, I will link it below in the description. And if you got some time left, why not watch more videos to support us? And a special thanks goes to all our champions, especially these patrons down below. And as always, we are on.